Hi folks, uh, just put this video together just to show you how you can use the wonderful Spark Toro to come up with a, a list of content topics that are likely to be of significant interest and very carefully targeted towards the audience that you're trying to reach. Um, so we're going to be doing that in conjunction with OpenAI's uh, GPT-3. They have an API that you can use uh, that will generate these comp content topics. Um, so let me just show you what you need and the workflow to how to make this work. So first thing you need is just go and register for an account on sparktoro.com. Um, they have a free plan that gives you five free searches a month, which is plenty for you to uh, give this a go. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a copy of my Google Sheet and Script is also free and you can download that from the link in the post below. And then uh, the last thing you're going to need is uh, to register a free account at openai.com um, where uh, once you've registered, you just need to go and uh, click to go into the API keys and then get grab your own um, secret API key and uh, OpenAI give you $18 worth of free credits when you sign up and again that's plenty for you to uh, play around with this and, and give it a go. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to try and find either a website or a social profile that um, is likely to be followed or visited by people within our target audience. So say, for example, I am trying to produce content for a website um, that is trying to reach agricultural farmers based in the US. OK, so um, usually the way I go about this, I go to Google and I do a search for something like best blogs for agricultural farmers in the USA. So this could be anything. You can do this search and apply it to your audience. So if you're trying to reach, for example, the founders of SaaS startups, you can put best blogs for uh, SaaS startup founders. Um, now, when I did this, I did a little bit of searching around. There was one website that kept coming up um, repeatedly, uh, which was this one here called farms.com. Um, and this is uh, uh, very much visited by people uh, who fit that category, agri agricultural farmers in the USA. So all I've got to do is just go and grab their domain name, pop over to Spark Toro, um, and then in the search box, now you've got a number of different ways of identifying the source uh, here, but the one I'm going to choose is um, people that frequently visit the website. So we'll select that option there and then put in here uh, farms.com and click discover now. And what that does, it then comes up with an overview page which shows you a whole load of information uh, like, for example, uh, the top words they have in their biographies. And we can see farmer is number one there. It's exactly right. Um, the hashtags that they use most frequently, the phrases they use most frequently, some demographic information and also things like the social accounts they follow, websites they visit. There's a, there's a lot of useful information here. But the, the thing that I'm really interested in for the purpose of this is the text insight. So I'm going to click on that. And when you click in here, you'll see um, there's a there's a tab here for hashtags used. And this shows us um, the hashtags that are being most frequently used by the people who visit that website when they're posting things on social media. These are the kind of the hashtags and topics um, that they're most frequently uh, using in their posts. Um, so what I'm going to do, I download that. You click on export all text insights that downloads that into um, uh, into a CSV file on your computer. OK, once we've done that, all we need to do is then pop over to my uh, Google script and then put your own API key in here. Um, this one here, don't worry, this is just like a burner API key, so this won't uh, can't be used um, after I've put this video together. Uh, so put your own API key in there and then all you need to do, so that's in cell A2 and then here in cell B2, just describe your audience. So, uh, you know, make sure that it's a really clear description of the kind of people that you're trying to reach because that's going to affect the topics and titles that it's going to come up with. So here I've put agricultural farmers in the USA. Then you'll notice that there are two tabs here, two separate sheets. So that's the setting sheet. Uh, move over to the hashtags sheet here. And then once you're in the hashtag sheet, just open up the list that you downloaded from Spark Toro with all the hashtags in there. 
And I'm just gonna do this on, let's say, just grab a few off the list here. So I'm just gonna copy those to my clipboard and then I'm gonna paste them into uh, the hashtags column on the spreadsheet here. So you see we've got agriculture, corn, all these various terms, most of which I don't even understand. Um, so in uh, this cell here, which is B2 under the column uh, content topic, um, all you now need to do is just put in um, the function that's gonna uh, pull up the response. So we're gonna go equals get topic and then open the parentheses A2 and then close the parentheses. That's all you need to do. Press return and then after a short delay, that should then come up with a topic for us. So uh, hashtag was agriculture, uh, why ag tech is the future of farming, uh, pretty good. And then we just copy that formula from that cell and then copy it down to the others. I'll just do it on a sample here. Now you might see a little error, it's just because it takes a little time to load, it's not really an error. And then just give it a moment and, uh, and then it will, there you go. So, and you can see we've got some really interesting topic ideas here. Uh, corn, the impact of corn on the American diet. Um, on tag, I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm assuming it has some relevance to agricultural farmers. The top 10 things to consider when selecting an on-premises or cloud-based enterprise resource planning ERP system. Okay, um, uh, but you can see these are pretty good topics that are uh, designed to be of interest to that target audience and based on uh, subjects that clearly they must be interested in because they are frequently using them uh, in their social accounts. One thing, one just last thing I will mention um, is if you kind of click on it, these, you'll see that it's the formula uh, that's in these rather than the actual uh, title. Um, and what that means is every time you refresh this sheet or make a change, it's gonna pull up that API data again and that's gonna burn through your API credits quite quickly. So I've provided just a little feature here in the menu called Save Values. Um, and if you just click on that and then hit Save, um, uh, that will then turn all of these just into plain text values. You might get a little prompt uh, asking your permission to run that script. So just to prove that, uh, don't worry if it comes up and says it's an unsafe script, I promise you it's it's not unsafe. Um, the settings tab here, um, I'd suggest you don't mess around with this too much because the script uh, behind this sheet is expecting things to be in certain places. Um, there is also instructions here, um, but as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, this hashtag sheet here, you can do what you like with this really, and you can add any other uh, data that might be of interest to you in other columns on this sheet. Um, okay, I hope that's of interest to you. Bye for now.